In 2015, Hunter Biden's Bohai Harvest joined forces with the Chinese military contractor AVIC to buy American parts manufacturer Hennigus. Hennigus' technology is considered dual use, meaning it can be used for commercial and military purposes. And deals like these require approval of the highest levels of the federal government. Hunter Biden's partner in the Hennigus deal, the Chinese aviation giant AVIC, was notorious for its history of stealing U.S. military technologies to build their own fighter jets and drones. But in September 2015, AVIC bought 51% of Hennigus, and Hunter Biden's Boi Harvest bought the other 49%. And yes, the Obama administration did indeed approve it. Hunter's firm, Bohai Harvest, also invested in military surveillance technology that the Chinese government would use to monitor and control the population in their own country. The company was called Face Plus Plus. There are a number of American investors that also stand to profit from this mass surveillance that are also invested in Face++, Plus Plus, uh, one of whom is Hunter Biden, the son of former Vice President Joe Biden. Bohai Harvest also helped China in its competition with the United States over so-called rare earth minerals. A Chinese government-run firm called China Molybdenum produces rare earth minerals around the world, competing with Western firms for mining access. And the company does not hide the fact that its work has direct military applications. The company's 2015 annual report, for example, declares that molybdenum is used to produce sensitive military technologies. What's fascinating is that while Hunter Biden and his firm were helping Beijing in the race to acquire rare earth minerals, his father's administration was actually fighting them. In 2012, President Obama announced that the United States was filing a complaint with the World Trade Organization because China was trying to control the global market. In 2014, the World Trade Organization agreed that China was trying to do so. Yet, two years later, Hunter's firm joined with China Molybdenum and announced that together they were buying more than half of one of the largest copper mines in the world. And so while the Obama administration was competing with China in the race for rare earth minerals, Hunter Biden and his firm were actually helping Beijing win that race. But there was an even more troubling deal. In December 2014, Hunter's firm became an anchor investor in a company called China General Nuclear, or CGN. CGN had been wholly owned by the Chinese government, but it was now selling off a minority stake to a favored investor. Hunter Biden presumably didn't realize that when his company was investing in CGN, they were investing in a company that was under FBI investigation for stealing U.S. nuclear secrets. In fact, less than 18 months after Hunter's Chinese firm invested in China General, a nuclear engineer named Alan Ho and the company 
were charged by the U.S. Justice Department with stealing nuclear secrets from the United States. According to the FBI, Ho had been working under the direction of China General to steal American nuclear secrets since 1998. It's not clear whether the FBI or the Obama Justice Department knew that Joe Biden's family was actually involved with CGN. But what is clear is that China has been trying to steal American nuclear secrets for a long time. Is it really that crazy to think that by partnering with the son of the vice president, they were trying to buy them too? And make no mistake, these firms Hunter was dealing with are directly tied to the Chinese military. In June 2020, the U.S. Department of Defense released a list of companies doing business in the United States that were known to be connected to the Chinese military. On that list, AVIC and CGN. But the Bidens weren't done cutting deals in China. 